Good day everyone and welcome to another brand new video on the Freedom Channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up your alerts for, let's say, YouTube live stream. Um, this is a great tool to check and thank the people who actually went out their way to follow you, subscribed or even donated. So first thing in this uh, video, um, we've got Streamlabs and Stream Elements. Uh, both of them are pretty good. Stream Labs is kind of more of if you want to go ultra and if you've got the money for it, it's fine. But Stream Elements is my sweet spot. So today in this tutorial, we're going to be using Stream Elements. If you want me to do a Stream at Labs, then let me know in the comments. A few things I want to show you before doing any alerts. With this tool here, you can add a chatbot with your chat commands, timers, so uh, you can have something for like subscribe, follow, you know, your Discord page, etc, etc. There are many other words, but including BAM words you can add. And here with chat command, like the explanation mark ball. So some people like to have how long they are followed for. So they type in explanation mark followage and they'll add them on that. It's very simple of how to set everything up. You literally just log in, connect your YouTube to your Streamlabs or Stream Elements. So with tips as well, if someone puts exclamation mark tip, they get a link to your stream elements to ask if they want to donate. And with that being said, the only downfall is the transaction fee is 2% amount of the US one maximum. As you can see there, there's loads of tiers for that. Now let's go over to streaming tool. We're going to add overlays. So if you don't want to, and if you want to, there are preset ones you can get overlay galleries here there's there's preset ones that will already be set up for everything but right now we're only going to be doing alerts instead of adding chat functions and other things so we're going to add a new overlay i like to put mine on 720 because it's going to be a smaller screen instead of having it full screen we're going to add wedge and here we go here is your alert box so what we're going to do is we're going to click the alert there. So as you can see there, you've got your 128 by 720 picture thing as we just put out. And it's already preset for stuff like that. So you can add to follow alert. You can either use video or select image. Select image, you can also use GIFs like I've done here. You'll see all my preset ones here. So... You can even upload stuff from over this direction here and you can literally drag and drop whatever gifts you want into that. So when someone says they're followed, they'll have that picture. So for the purpose of this, I've already got some preset ones and we're going to go and click this. Now we've got the default sound. With that being said, there are some preset ones, of course, but if you've got your own personal sounds, that's great. So... I've got all these preset ones here. So let's say, for instance, I go and add an award sound. And then what I'm going to do is you can actually test it by going follower event. You can also turn the volume up or down. So you I kind of just like to keep it normal 50. So now, here. So there's your example. And also, you've got your alert message. So let's say, it's, if you want to get creative, you can just say, is a beast. Thank you for the follow. Um, oh. And now we can re-preview that again. And that's how you can do that. Um, you can either have a different layouts. It's entirely up to you. Variant settings. You can also do text. That change the different texts. So now I've gone ahead and added my YouTube account. So I can show you an entire setup all over again. So again, with the followers, we're going to, I'm actually going to find a funny picture. There we go. There we go. We've got the alert here. So we're going to click and drag that one of uh, 
my co-host again. And remember, you can use text-to-speech, change the text settings, sizes, and the way it is, and how long it can go on for. Right, now that's done. We're going to add, let's say, Super Chat. That's similar to what I think it is. So right now, if I preview it, so let's say Super Chat 10. We don't want that. That's too boring. That's too boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload sound again. And then this time I'm going to find. I'm um, actually before I do anything. We're going to do a meme for the uh, from what we got on the Cornish Games nights. People decide to call themselves Breath Fam. I have no idea. So I'm just going to leave that there for the purpose of this video. So we can change that image. Submit that as we got there. The loaf. <laughs> um, because it's only 10 members, I believe that's what it is. I don't know much with the whole sub count and stuff like that. I know subscribers and that's it when it comes to YouTube live stream. Okay, now I found what I want. So I'm going to upload sounds. Let's go on to sounds. It's going to go to the upload here. I wonder if. Control all. Let's see if we can drag all 16 of them. Uh, there you go. So that's done. Uh, you can also um, do variations. So you can change the way it is depending on how much. Say, for instance, someone donated, uh, say, one pound or one dollar. I could put something that's with a voice going, I have a use for you. And then if someone donated something higher, let's say 10 or 20 quid, I'll do something amazing with a cool little gift or video. Um, and that's that, really. And that's what the variation function is here, the variation settings. You can add a new variation. All right, so what you want to do is let's change this over quickly. So now my overlays are done and it's ready. I've saved it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and then hit browser. I've already got a preset browser so you can just create your new but right now I've got alerts here we're gonna go back on stream elements we're gonna go down to streaming tools and then overlays here we go CGN alerts this is my one so what we're gonna do is we're going to copy URL so as you got here let's let's put this to default so you get an idea so here we go OBS project browser source You'll get this when you first open up your browser source. So we're going to use URL, copy, paste. Uh, my width will be 1280 by 720. And as you can see here, we've got this small little bit here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change this. And as you can see here, we've got to our follower event. You can preview this. Right, let's just say someone uh, cheer gave me a cheer in the event. Uh, let's say someone gave me 1,000 bits. So what I can do here is I'll click this. And I'm going to close this because I've already got this screen saved onto the OBS, so I'll show you, look. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! So, people can now see that on my stream. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you want me to do a Streamlabs one, then I'm happy to do that. There'll be more guides on how to maneuver, like, the chat function on your OBS, so people can also see themselves in the live stream chats. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.